In this video, I'm going to look at uh, abstract data types and uh, some other implementations. We're going to be focusing spe specifically on uh, stacks and queues. Um, but first of all, what exactly is an abstract data type? An abstract data type is a mathematical model that's set to uh, represent a, a data structure. Um, data structures are like single, singly linked list, doubly linked list, arrays, and we need a mathematical construct, a mathematical construct that allows us to abstract the details of these implementations. And the way we do it is with an abstract data type. So an abstract data type basically defines a set of things, okay, and the operations that could be performed on these things or with these things or by these things. So it's these two things. Now it's, it's very abstract, that's why it's called abstract data type. And the way we implement it uh, is using singly linked list, doubly linked list, arrays, and so on. Um, but but the, the, the abstract data type is independent of the implementation. So, so for every abstract data type, there could be multiple implementations. So for example, we have the abstract data type of a list. You define it as being a set of elements. And the operation that we could do on the list is, for example, add a new element at the, uh, at the start of the list, at the end of the list, at the middle of the list, and so on and so forth. Or, for example, get the, get the, the third element. So these are all the operations that you could do on a list. Um, two, two abstract data types that are of interest to us are the stack and the queue. Um, the stack basically is an abstract data type with two fundamental operations. You could push an element and you could pop an element. So a stack would have multiple elements and you could push an element on top of it and you could pop one from it. Um, and that's why we call it LIFO, last in, first out. So the last person that was in is going to be the first person that we're going to be taking out or the first element that we're going to be taking out from uh, the stack. So it's an abstract data type. We could implement it using um, any of those data structures. For example, with a singly linked list, we would be popping and pushing to the head. So suppose this was the head and this was the tail. So we would be, um, if we wanted to add an, a new element, we would push one here and then move the head to that. And if we wanted to pop one, then we would simply remove this element, remove that pointer, and have the head come back and point at this element. So that's uh, an implementation using singly linked list. Uh, with the doubly linked list, um, you could do the same thing, but you could also do it from the back. The problem with doing it uh, from the back with a singly linked list is that if you were to remove this element, then you would have to walk through all the other elements just to find the, the second to last one, and so that you can move your tail to it. So that's why it's not advisable to use um, uh, um, a, a, to, to pop and push from the, the tail using singly linked list. But with a doubly linked list, you could do that. So you could use either the tail or the head. In terms of the array, you could also do that with an array. You could also implement a stack with an array. Um, so you would have your elements, and then if you wanted to add one, you would simply push it here. And if you wanted to pop one, you would remove it from here. So we're always dealing with the back. You won't deal with the front because if you were to do that, then you'd have to shift all the other elements backwards, and that's a waste of operations. So this is the stack. The next element, a more interesting uh, abstract data type, is the queue. And it's defined with two fundamental operations. There could be other operations too, but these are the necessary ones and sufficient ones. It's in queue and dequeue, so add and remove. Uh, it's a FIFO, so first in, first out. So unlike the uh, <coughs> the stack, where um, we we were adding to the to 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 the end of the list or the front of the list, and then removing from the same position. So the last person in was the first person to come out. This time, the first person in. Is the, la is the first person to come out. So it's like a, a, a queue waiting for some service. So the people would be lining up and the first person who arrived at the line would be the first person to be serviced. So that's a queue. Um, we could implement it using singly linked lists, arrays, circular arrays. Um, we're going to see how it's very inefficient to do it with arrays and it's uh, uh, much more efficient to do it with circular arrays and we're going to see what exactly are circular, circular arrays in the, in the next video.